before video begins, I want to send some love to today's sponsor, NordVPN. When I was in Italy, I tried to stream, but my internet was so bad, it barely functioned. So they graciously sent me uh, a Starlink, which worked amazingly. And finally, I had internet. Long story short, love NordVPN. Everyone should use a VPN. Let me explain to you why. If you're browsing on someone else's Wi-Fi or a network, which I know you do all the time, you need to use a VPN to protect yourself and your data. Your ISP can see everything that you're doing. Everything. They can see everything. Unless you use NordVPN, of course. NordVPN has a strict no logs policy. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's super easy to use on your phone or your computer. Bada bing, bada boom, you're in. One click. It's super fast. I personally been loving using NordVPN recently because I've been showing Marcia these old Swedish TV shows that obviously you have to be in Sweden to watch. Bada bing, bada boom, you're NordVPN, one click, and I'm in. I'm in Sweden watching Mysteriet på Greveholm. <laughs> And if you sign up using the link in the description, make sure you use the link. There's no code. NordVPN.com slash PewDiePie. And that way you get a huge discount on a two-year plan plus one additional free month. You're welcome. They also have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're not sure about a VPN or how it works or what the purpose is, you can try it out for free for 30 days and get your money back 100% guarantee. Uh, they've just been a great sponsor and I'm very happy with them. So it's a great service. It's a win-win. Check it out. Um, with the video. YouTube is being dumb again. What else is new? Good evening, everyone. My poppy smorgy boy. I'm back, me. Pew News. Recently, a YouTuber named Totally Not Mark had over 150 of his videos deleted due to the Japanese company Toho to Toei animation they own the rights to cut anime like one piece dragon ball sailor moon a big shot company that basically couldn't care less <laughs> about some random anime youtuber let's get real here i'll link to totally not mark in the description check him out go give him support i actually have some personal issue with the as well that i want to bring up at the end of this video but keeping toy animation in mind japan especially is so notoriously dumb when it comes to copyright backwards thinking or or uh, just overall lacking in what most people agree with what is fair use and not they just don't care they're a big company that's it you probably remember it as well with japan nintendo having the youtube creator program if you want to give us free promotion with let's plays you have to go through us okay which everyone said that was a stupid as hell idea and lo and behold it was shut down they're just blatantly behind and i think it's important that we call these things out so that hopefully they can listen this what happened to mark just really highlights a huge issue with youtube is that any day your your livelihood on youtube could get removed because some big company decided out of the blue that no stop that I watch Mark's videos just to get an idea, sort of, you know, is it fair use, is it not? And, you know, he does rely heavily on clips from the shows themselves. But as far as I understand with copyright law is that you are allowed to show clips as in form and reference. And Mark's point in his video is that even if he does counterclaim these videos, YouTube's system is so slow that it would literally, I think he did the math, it will take 68 years or something. Or he'll be 68 by the time he's reclaimed all his videos. It's just completely pointless to even try and fight it. So, I mean, what else can you do? It just shows that YouTube is always in favor of the company when it comes to copyright. You know, basically how it goes if you get a copyright claim is, is uh, a company goes and say, hey, that, that video, that's mine now. And you go, no, actually, that's fair use. I, I follow all the guidelines. I've carefully crafted this content. And then their response is basically, nah, I still want it. And YouTube goes, yeah, yeah, he's right. <laughs> that's how it works. And YouTube knows how big of an issue this is. They revealed millions of incorrect copyright claims in just six months. It's such a splurge of copyright issue where YouTube doesn't want to deal with it. So they give companies these tools to take down and make it as easy for them as possible. But without any regard for us as creators of what we can do about it. To play devil's advocate just for a minute, YouTube has become massively improved when it comes in favor of, of uh, copyright for the creators. To be fair, because there didn't used to be anything that we could do. If a video got claimed back in the day, it's like, ah, what can you do? It's gone now. <laughs> That's still pretty much the case, but it's still better because now at least 
you can get the option to, hey, do you want to trim out the segment? Which is still a painfully slow process because if you get like two clips, you have to wait for one to get finished and then go back to another one, which yeah, it's small. I'm just nitpicking, but or you can mute the song or replace the song. I don't know if you ever watched a video where the song has been replaced. It just goes from, hey guys. So I just want to... It's just, it's, it's awful. It's awful. I mean, practically my entire library from 2016 and backwards, it's, it's just gone. It's gonna take too long to deal with it. I, whatever, take it, take my money, I don't care. <laughs> So in this article posted by The Verge about how much incorrect copyright claims are occurring, I really got very pissed off, to be honest, reading about... Ah, here it is. When users dispute these claims, the case result in favor of the uploader of the video 60% of the time, according to the report. So they're kind of saying the majority still goes to the creator. Look, 60% of the time it favors you guys. Listen, if I accuse everyone in the whole world of stealing from me and 60% uh, of them comes back and, be, and, can, and can prove that I'm wrong, that doesn't mean I'm 40% right. That just still means I'm 100% wrong. That doesn't favor other people. It still favors me <laughs> massively. It's blatant theft a lot of the times too. And I've had this problem too uh, recently where all my music got claimed. I don't know if you noticed this, but if you go to Bitch Lasagna, you can see that it's been claimed by a company called Repose Network, and then parenthesis, on behalf of PewDiePie. Nah. What do you fuck? You, you can't just say it's on behalf of me. That's not just stealing, that's stealing and lying about it. I know I didn't claim that. I didn't tell anyone to do that. And the thing is like, I even put in the description, feel free to use this track, it won't be claimed. Like I want people to, oh God, it pisses me off. I wanted people to like remix and do fun stuff with the song because I don't support this whole claim music thing. I think it's completely backwards. Look at TikTok, how many songs are blowing up purely because kids are using it as a reference in a clip or whatever. It is a positive, but companies aren't seeing it. Whatever, that's their issue. But it's even so bad that some fucking, I don't know, I don't know how this is possible. That someone can claim my own video and say it's me. How is that possible, YouTube? Like, I deliberately didn't go with a label with any of my music because I hate how they run stuff on YouTube. And it's, it still fucks me so bad. And the thing is like, you know, fine. I understand it's a difficult process to run copyright on YouTube. It's never going to be perfect, but the kind of stuff that happened to Totally Not Mark where he literally has no chance of rectifying the situation or, or make his own case, it, it's not okay. And even the... Um, this video, you know, that was claimed by me, apparently. Like I said, I don't expect everything to be perfect, but if I counterclaim a bogus claim, you'd think that YouTube would say, yeah, that is a bogus claim. They, re they rejected my dispute. YouTube is favoring with uh, the company. <laughs> so I now have the choice to replace the song or mute the song. Cool. I can't use my own music in my own videos anymore. That's awesome the f is this but uh you know 60 percent is in the favor of the creator guys so there's really no reason to freak out there's really no reason to be pissed off at all anyway i'm uh i'm glad that this is getting highlighted uh i hope there's some silver lining of some some change actually happening here because this is just not okay subscribe and you can win a billion poppy gloria out